Hey, welcome back to 2DG for another beer review. What do we got on tap today? Today we have the Dog Patch Sour from Almanac Brewing Company out of San California. Francisco, I yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it says on here Dog Patch. It's named after their uh, neighborhood that they come out of, I guess, mm. in the San Francisco area. Yeah, saying it's an American wild ale, also known as a sour, um, and they age it in wine barrels, so it's going to give it that extra little. Uh, complexity. And it says they use some sourdough, San Francisco sourdough yeast, along with brewer's yeast. Wild brewer's yeast. Well, yeah. Um, I've never had a beer with sourdough yeast. No. So that'd be... This might be really interesting. interesting. <laughs> so go ahead and start opening it and then uh, let us know what the beer advocate or rate beer, whoever you're looking at, yeah. uh, we're looking to say at, about Yeah, it. we're looking at rate beer. Um, for the style, they gave it a 93, which is in the American Wild Ale uh, category and then for overall they gave it a 99 so we're looking at a pretty solid beer so I'm kind of excited about that uh, they say it pairs well with like figs and I don't know <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> things I don't have available today <laughs> make sure leave some, so let me see that in a minute uh, yeah but they're saying it pairs well oh yeah it was uh Ripe figs and blue cheese or rich seafood bouillabaisse. Ah, nice. Uh, you know, bouillabaisse is broth. Anyway, uh, color, you're getting a nice orange, slightly hazy. Just the slightest. Mm -hmm. um, nice white head on there. A little off white. Uh, it's not sticking around too long either, so no. um, let's go get a see yeah. the nose. I'm liking it. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's got that funk smell, which if you've never had a sour, uh, sour beer before, probably a Warheads almost type of. It's almost got a little bit of a uh, salt to it. Yeah, it's a little salty vinegar. Oh man, there's fruit, some uh, yeah there's esters, a some fruit to that. Yeah, just I mean, it smells exactly like you want it to smell. That is actually yeah. No, I didn't check. Do they use fruit uh, with this? I thought it was yeah, cherry. cherries. Okay. Uh, which I think the only other sour beer that I've had uh, with cherries in it was uh, Skull of Lay. Um, <laughs> which is top of my list. Yeah, so far. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get a taste. I, I'm excited to, yeah. Okay. Thoroughly pleased. Uh, yeah, number one. It's got that it's, gut punch yeah. of sour. Mm -hmm. And that's what I really like with with sours. I don't like them to be muted or tamed. I like them to be, like, pucker your mouth. Um, and a lot of them that I've had are real tame. This one, I'm, I'm really glad that it's not. Um, yeah, I'm going to give this another taste real quick. Dude, what okay. can you say? Yeah, as I said, I'm not getting any of the barrel. Um, as far as like the wood characteristics that you would expect. No, but so, there's like, a bit of a whiny. Veneer. No, yeah, that's the same. As far as like the wood, you're not getting any no. of, like the oak flavor or vanilla or anything like that. Maybe for yeah. the dryness. The yeah, you're, yeah, it is. Yeah, an incredibly dry beer, but you're getting a lot of the tartness um, from the cherry, tons of that. Um, so if you've ever had a cherry and had a, a a nice sour. Yeah, what is it, the Bing or whatever that are real. Anyway, but yeah, nice sour cherry tartness, but you're also getting the dry, uh, kind of sharp taste of like a dry wine, uh, so to speak, um, that comes out uh, from the barrel. Um, yeah, super dry beer, super sour, super fruity, fruit tartness to it. Um, yeah, just... It's maybe not quite as complex as I was hoping it was going to be. Yeah, I don't think it's as complex as Skull A. Well, it, but from just yeah, aging it in the the wood but too. But it's a it's it's exactly what I was hoping. When I think of a good wild sour, yeah, the cherry and the wine flavor that you get from this just really they mix yeah very very yeah. well. In fact, yeah, it, this is what it reminds me of as a, as a wine. I mean, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, good. like if you ever had a dry red, um, I'm getting a lot of the characteristics in that. Really at the back, too, like when it falls off, you do get the grain 
in there too, like a almost like a pilsnery kind of malt taste at the back, but yeah, it drops off immediately. Um, and it leaves you with the red wine aftertaste, um, which isn't bad, and it's not oh, extreme, um, but it is there. Okay. okay, let's go ahead and rate. I think for style, I'm going to give it a 10. I think it's there. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I think I still prefer Scolay. I think Scolay is even another notch higher on the, the tartness, but it's a whole different beast. I mean, but I like this one a lot. So this is definitely a 10 for me. You say there's only a couple other sours that I've had that are super just get you with the sour. Yeah. Um, one was from Skull Olay, or from Three Floyd Skull Olay, and then the other one was from uh, Cigar City that we actually had at the uh, Dark Lord Day Festival. <laughs> and that one was really extreme too, but this one's up there. Um, style 10, yeah, easy. Um, they're they're hits, it. Yeah, say so <laughs> it hits everything that I want. Um, plus you get the depth of flavor in there as well which is kind of nice because normally um, it's kind of just you know the one flavor and it's sour funk kind of thing but you know you do pick up what they're saying is in there yeah it's it's perfect <laughs> uh, overall overall um, hell overall I'm gonna stick with a 10 again I love sours I really do um, it's not something you can drink a lot of all the time. I mean, it, you'll get a little, you know, it's like, a, like you said, if you eat runt, runts or uh, warheads, I mean, if you eat too many of them, you start getting that sour yeah. gut. And, uh, but I'm going to give it a 10 because, man, if I want a sour, I'd love to have this on the shelf locally. Love it. Let's say, um, yeah, style, 10. Um, We're doing overall now. Or, yeah, sorry, overall, uh, 10. I do wish maybe it was a little more sour, just a little bit. Um, that's just me though. Uh, like I said though, it nails it. Um, I would choose this one over a lot of, number one, just beers in general, but definitely over yeah. a lot of the sour um, type. Uh, the only other sour I think I've had that's super tart is the uh, one from Destile. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it was the Here Goes Nothing. We had that one off cam, but uh -huh. um, that one wasn't supposed to be that sour, I don't think, just based <laughs> on it being, I think it was a Goza style. But anyway, regardless, this is right up there with some of the most sour that I've had. Super glad. Uh, super good. But it's got the complexity, too. It's no, not yeah. just sour. Yeah, no, it's yeah. It's got great flavors. Yeah, you get the fruit in there. Like I said, you get the... the the biscuity dry malt, Pilsner malt at the back. It's got that whiny notion. I mean, you, it's like having a good wine. It's got, yeah, the cherry coming through. Mm -hmm. it's, and it's subtle. The cherry's not like cough syrup, you know? I mean, no, yeah. It's perfectly and balancing through it. I don't know a lot about this um, no, brewery. No, but I want to now. No, yeah. It says um, barrel aged, obviously, on here. So I don't know if that's part of like a series or, um, you know, whatever. If you're from California and you're watching, let me know. Um, definitely. Yeah, I would definitely like to find out more about these guys. Uh, again, Almanac uh, Brewing Company out of, uh, I think you said San Francisco. I think it's that area. Yep. I approve. I approve as well, so be sure to uh, like the video or subscribe or leave us a comment on what you think. Maybe sour is not your thing, but I'm telling you this is a good one. Maybe you've had it. Maybe you have a different opinion. I don't see how. We gave it tens across the board, and uh, we haven't had that in a in a little. No, we bit. haven't. I think so this is a nice. winner. Mm -hmm. um, thumbs up to them. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up too. All right, see you later. Cheers.